So this morning with our fitness segment, we're encouraging you to do something different. Spring is around the corner, obstacle challenges can be heading your way, and Jory and Tanya this morning is going to make sure that if you want to attempt to do those obstacle challenges, we're going to make sure that you fit this morning. All right, Jory, Tanya, lovely to have you guys back. Yeah. So we had a nice little segment earlier on just to show the functional side of obstacle training. What do you have for us now? So you never, in these races, you never know what to expect. So kind of try to look at previous races and you want to simulate movements that you see there. Yeah. And All I know, uh, there's a lot of crawling, there's a lot of climbing, there's a lot of jumping, that kind of stuff. I mean, yeah. Tanya's our running specialist, so... Yeah. There's a lot of running, and although we are doing combinations to help us build our strength, yeah. um, don't forget to run. You need to get your running in every week. All right, so let's start off. What are we doing first? Okay, so we're going to start off with a, a nice rope tug on okay. the ground. So it's going into a plank. I'll demo this one with Tanya, and then you guys can give it a go. So Tanya, just extend it, so opposite hands. All right. right, here we go. So tighten up, and from there in this plank position, I'm going to pull. And she resists, basically. And she's going to resist. All right, and this works obviously a lot on the core. That's it. All Your right. turn. Okay. My turn. Go for it. <laughs> am I taking you on? Who am I taking you on? Let's go the other arm. Okay. All right. So there. So nice and tight rope, and I'm going to pull it out. There right. we go. And you can feel you really have to brace. There we go. Sure. The stomach is really trying to resist this. That's it. Okay. Okay, so that's a simple one with the rope there. Then we can go into a squat, Tanya, because we should demo this one quickly. Right, so obviously you're going to do this, and most of the people do this in teams, so you're going to have yeah. to help people up and right. out. So squat tap, let's go two. But I mean, obstacle challenges are all one. about teamwork, so. Two, so let's switch. One, two, hold it. Okay, so the next one's a drag, so you're going to kind of let your partner down. Okay, and kind of help her up and out. Okay, I see. Right. So basically working the legs on this side, working the bicep on that side. That's it. I like it. And you, you only need a short piece of rope. You're definitely going to hang on, onto something or climb something. All right. So the rope, just throw it over something in the house. <laughs> That's what's going to come down. <laughs> in the garage, stable. I'm sure you'll find something. Smart. And if you jump up there, All just right. hang down, straighten your arms, and you want to try and just pull yourself up All like right. normal pull-ups. So just and a normal pull -up. slow movement down. So there, basically. That's it. And nice what ladies way. can do at home, they can jump into it. So right. if, if you can reach it like this, yeah. just jump up and slow movement okay, so down. Giving yourself a bit of a boost. What is the benefits of doing a pull-up on a, on a rope as opposed to a bar? Look, a bar is easier to hang on to. Yeah. A rope is obviously grip strength and yeah. you're going to have to clinch really hard to get up. Brilliant. Well, yeah. there we go. Tanya, thank you so much. Awesome. Jory, thanks for joining us. There we go. That is the way you get fit for those obstacle challenges. I love the fact that it's different exercises to what you would normally get. Yeah, and it's fun. Exactly. So give it a go. Get fit and do some obstacle challenges. Spring is around the corner. Let's find out now what is still ahead on your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Cat.